Hello everybody, welcome to Cinema Trailer News. My name is Chris and this will be my review for Tar. We need to talk about this film. I love Tar. Now here's the premise. Lydia Tar is a world-renowned conductor and composer at the top of her game. There seems to be no limit to what she's able to achieve. And she's smart, she's talented, and she's passionate about music. And she's ready to take her career to new heights. But of course, this is when the trouble begins and some of our Lydia's questionable actions start catching up to her. In a way, Tar is a, a portrayal of a heroine on Robin, except in this case, the heroine is very much an anti heroine. Now, taking the entire story into account, it's easy to see Lydia's character is a role in which we'll normally see a male actor, but it's clear from the very beginning that the film has very little interest in basic gender politics. Lydia herself dismissed those questions a few times throughout the movie. Now, what the writer, director, thought feels really wants to examine here is power in a various form, the hierarchy of power, how the the way gaining or losing power affects the ego, power as control, uh, power when it comes to relationships, and uh, all aspects of it. And it's fascinating. Uh, it's not coincidence that Tar uses the world of classical music as his framework. It's a world rooted in tradition, one that doesn't insist we are composers and technicians that are centuries old. A world that can often feel like it's frozen in time, operating by the rules of a different centuries. An orchestra, in particular, has a very specific hierarchy, which serves as the professor for all the discussion that the film aims to enact. At one point, Lydia herself tells her daughter that the orchestra is not a democracy. Now, to a uh, to his lead character, and yes, despite how real she feels, uh, Lydia Tarr is a fictional character. The movie challenges its viewers and to engage in new one's conversation about very charts of relevant topics, such as uh, identity politics, power dynamics, country culture, uh, separating the art from the artists and the idea of achieving greatness in the modern world. Now, but Top Field has no interest in easy answers. The film doesn't pass judgment on its lead character or anyone she interacts with. It doesn't take a stand. It doesn't preach or moralize or lecture its audience. It's not anti this or pro that. Uh, the only thing is pro as for those topics go is pro conversation. Thor is a movie that trusts the intelligence of its viewers that demand attention to detail and want to start a discussion then then rather than tell you what to think or how to feel, which is something that has become increasingly rare in modern cinema. Now, between my life for character studies and complex character and movie that generally don't beat you over the head with the point of view, top pretty much feel like a movie that was made for me. But it's just objectively brilliant and engrossing film. They often feel like a great tragedy. The stunning writing, which by the way is not without some well placed dry humor and direction of tough feels, the excellent cast, precise cinematography and editing, the score, the production design, all of these elements come together to make Tar one of the best and most thoughtful provoking film of the year. And then is of course is our queen Kim Blanchett 
who absolutely delivers a career best performance here with a astonishing level of character depth and control. As Lydia, she's someone who is constantly aware of everything they surround her and every move and every word because all of this has an intent behind it. Lydia is someone who did not come from an elite musical background. She had to dream big and work for her way up and she, because of this, she always know where she's headed and what she needs to do to get there. Until things start spinning out of her control. Blanche is simply magnificent. He, her, her, she's undeniable here. So give this woman her third Oscar already. Now, in some ways, uh, Lydia similarly uh, reminded me of Andrew and Terence Fletcher from Wish Whiplash, which happens to be one of my favorite movies. We see the cause of ambitions in Tar like and, and like we see in Andrew but Lydia is a character driven by that ambition someone who discovers the meaning in life throughout music but while we splash and explore the price of greatness from the perspective of someone aspiring to be great Tar is Simon what greatness does to someone who has achieved it. Lydia is closer to Fletcher when she is teaching a master class at Julius and engaged in an argument with a student who expressed a controversial point of view. What's interesting is that she preaches letting go of her uh, the ego in service of the music, but ultimately lets her ego uh, get the best of her. Best most of what you need to know about Lydia and the way she perceives herself is actually revealed in the opening interview we see in the film as she talks about uh, uh, her ability to stop and start time while leading an orchestra. You cannot start without me. See, I start the clock. Sometimes my second hand stops, which means the time Stop. Now, I seen Ta refer as this cancer culture movie, and while yes, cancer culture is part of it, it it's just one element of this lame film, and describing it in such a way will be a major oversimplification of its intent. And what is the intent here? Well, to look at things with complexity and to remove uh, things and at least to attempt to see different points of view. The, the ambiguous trailer have tried to get uh, across that doesn't come across the plot itself and comes from your interpretation of what you see on four on screen, how to you view this character, how do you feel about the ending, how is your relationship with power and ambition, how do you judge a person you never met, how do you reconcile with uh, greatness and uh, abilities, and Tar asks many questions, none of them simply yes or no black and white issues it's a film defined by its complicity where it comes to character relationships or ethics a film that loses power dynamics through the lens of an accelerating and ever-changing modern world and sometimes quite literally to the lens of a film i really hope this film uh, 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 i know they it's just not people are seeing this movie and i hope that maybe once the the oscars hit uh, some people will will get into it and hopefully see because the this movie you have to see because at the end of the day thought is a lot more accessible and relevant and engaging than initially seems without being preaching 
top few challenge his viewers to figure out where they stand themselves and consider the the different points of view though they have to be mutually exclusive we thought the question isn't just examining power itself but also the way we look at it and where the perspective comes from in the in the end, what Todd Field achieved here is masterful. His character feels so layer and real that you may actually end up Googling it if they are really fictional. His visuals and storytelling choices are exceptional. His passion and talent are obvious, and the discussion that Todd is able to generate is fascinating. How many movies, especially in recently, have tried to tack questions about power dynamics? Of of structure of, and politics, of power, of cancel culture, separating the off from the others. So many, but a few of them are able to approach this discussion with the amount of intelligence and new ones they require. And Tar is on the top of that list. This is, I highly recommend this film. And like I said, I feel that not a lot of people are talking about it so i hope that once we get closer to the oscars so a lot of people they tend to discover the film and and, and bring those conversation up because it surely is a masterful film just from the story perspective it's fascinating so that's my review for Tar. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, consider subscribing to the channel, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.